This video shares a practical piece of advice for anyone who wants to be a serious companion of the Quran, especially those who want to memorize the Quran. Even though it aims at those who want to memorize the Quran, who wants to be companions of the Quran, every Muslim can still find something to benefit from it by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Without further ado, let's do this. Bismillah. Iqara wa rabbuka al-akram Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to a new video brought to you by tvq.academy, your borderless school of the Quran. The piece of advice we are going to share in this video was inspired by Sheikh Ahmad Isa Al Ma'sarawi. Therefore, before anything, let's take a look at who is Sheikh Ahmad Isa Al Ma'sarawi. Sheikh Ahmad Isa Al Ma'sarawi is the well known Sheikh Ahmad Isa Al Ma'sarawi, an Egyptian scholar of the Quran and the hadith. Sheikh Ahmad Isa al Ma'sarawi is a uh, hafiz of the Quran, that is one thing. He's previously the Grand Sheikh of the Quran in the entire of Egypt and presently he is a full professor of the hadith at Al-Azhar University also at Egypt. He is a very well known Sheikh. If you don't know Sheikh Ahmad Isa al Ma'sarawi, I will be surprised. However, he tweets very beneficial stuff on uh, on social media, primarily on his Twitter handle or currently X handle, which are also posted on his Facebook page as well as on his other social media platforms. So what does the piece of advice he uh, share, he shared says? It says here, نَصِيحَ لِمَنْ أَرَادَ حِفْظَ الْقُرْآنِ قَلِّلِ الْمِقْدَارِ وَأَكْثِرِ التَّكْرَارِ وداوم على الاستمرار ولازم الاستغفار وخفف الأوزار وصاحب الأخيار very profound uh, نصيحة لمن أراد حفظ القرآن قلل المقدار وأكثر التكرار وداوم, وداوم على الاستمرار ولازم الاستغفار وخفف الأوزار وصاحب الأخيار we are taking it as he laid it down a piece of advice for anyone or for the one who wants to memorize the Quran Minimize your assignment. Increase your repetition. Maintain consistency. Hold on to al-istighfar, which, which means seeking, uh, uh, repenting to Allah and seeking his forgiveness, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Lessen your sins. In, in other words, reduce your sins and keep a good company. As you have seen, the piece of advice is straightforward. Uh, you can just make use of it as it is. But in order to make more sense of it and also make use of it more effectively, let's break it down by taking it from uh, down and building it up to where he started. Like I said, even though it targets and aims at those who want to memorize the Quran, who want to be companions of the Quran, any Muslim, every Muslim has a lot to learn from this piece of advice. Let's take a look. The last thing he said is to keep a good company. Before that, he said, lessen your sins. And before that, he said, hold on to al-istighfar. Lazim uh, al-istighfar. And then before that, he said, dawim al istimrar maintain consistency. And before that, he said, increase your revision. And also, the first thing he started with is, قلل المقدار or minimize your assignment. As you have seen, uh, starting with where I started uh, and ending with where he started, every Muslim needs to have a good company. If you have a good company, by the will of Allah, you will be able to lessen your, your sins. And once we are able to lessen our sins, we will see that it's the effect and the outcome of the istighfar we will be doing. And then if we are able to maintain consistency in doing that, we become in, in a bigger range that enables us to do what it takes to be a companion of the Quran, which is the revision, which we have to, in a way or another, to develop some uh, a good mindset towards it before we jump into into making what into making uh, our assignment as we are going to 
highlight shortly. Now, keeping a good company is crucial. There is no, n- no different opinion regarding this. Even for someone who is a non-Muslim and they want to attain worldly success, they need a good company. They need uh, a surrounding that will help them achieve whatever success they want to achieve, regardless of how they define, they define success. Therefore, in Islam, it becomes even more crucial. Every Muslim needs a good company. Keeping a good company is crucial and it contributes greatly to your success or failure. May Allah preserve us and grant us success and protect us against failure. And if we experience any failure, may it be uh, a great lesson for us to learn to be better, to succeed in a better way in order to achieve your goals by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Once we have a good company by the will of Allah, we will be able to lessen our sins because good companies will do al-amr bil ma'roof wa nahyu anil munkar. And the Quran cannot coexist with some major sins. No human being will not sin, Muslim or otherwise, especially Muslims. No matter what, no matter how, we will sin. But we have to minimize our sins. Major sins should be no, no, no go. By a hook or by a crook, the Muslim should avoid a major sins, especially if one wants to become a companion of the Quran, let alone if one wants to memorize the Quran by heart. The Quran cannot coexist with some sins, basically, rather than some major, some major sins. Also, sins may come to you when you least expect it. So be careful. If a person, the Muslim, looks down upon a fellow Muslim, this is already a sin enough to affect your, 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 your journey or your attempt to become a companion of the Quran. So a good company, uh, lessening our sins, and then holding on to istighfar. Istighfar is to seek repentance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to repent consistently in every moment as much as possible. Therefore, istighfar is your door to peace of mind, calmness, spiritual strength, and steadfastness. If the Muslim holds on to istighfar, he will see miracles in his life. The, the, the ordinary Muslim, the layman Muslim, and every Muslim must istighfar. The Prophet Sallallahu used to make minimum of 70, of 70 times of istighfar in a day. What more about, about us? So much so that in Islam, istighfar is the first thing we do after we make salam in every prescribed prayer. Next is to maintain consistency. Keeping good company, uh, reducing our sins as possible, uh, holding on to istighfar and keeping consistency in all that. Keeping consistency in all that. And that should help us by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to keep consistency in what comes next. And what comes next says to increase our revision. And as far as the Quran is concerned, if you want to memorize the Quran, you won't do revision until you have started assignments. But revision will take more of your life than the assignment itself. All right? And then revision should be daily, just like the assignment should be daily, which we are going to uh, to highlight the next uh, slide. Minimize your assignment. This is the center of the discussion, yet it is the smallest component. And why is it so? Because many of us, because when we start with a, a, any project, more so the Quran and religious studies, we start with too much ambition. We start too ambitious and we want to attain everything in the shortest time possible whereby in reality it's supposed to be the other way around. There are many habits we need to develop. There are many skills we need to develop. All these together help us to attain one skill set and master it. And in this case, we are talking about memorizing the Quran. Uh, So minimize your assignment and see yourself moving. But if you want to memorize bigger number of verses or bigger number of pages uh, because you want to finish very fast and move on, that is where the probability and possibility of failing to achieve it 
may occur. Another thing is that minimizing your assignment is one of the many qualities which the Muslim can accumulate. So why is it a small component? Even though it is very crucial, the Muslim doesn't only have to become a half of the Quran. The Muslim may be a half of the Quran, may uh, be knowledgeable about the tafsir of the Quran, the interpretation of the Quran. He may be knowledgeable with other uh, as fields and specializations as far as Islam, Islam is concerned or even other worldly sciences are concerned. And each of these are small, small components which the Muslim can combine them to excel in his dunya matters, especially uh, in his akhirah matters as well. Therefore, although the Sheikh started with the smallest component to the bigger ones, I I'm humbly suggesting that every Muslim should start with the bigger uh, component to the smaller ones. The smaller ones are only for those who uh, really want to do it, whether it is Quran or anything for that matter. But the bigger one, regardless, whether one wants to specialize or he doesn't want to specialize, he still needs a good company if he wants to uh, strive as a Muslim, a practicing Muslim, a mindful Muslim, and what have you. And then that will help him Lessening, I mean, keeping a good company will help him to lessen his sins as possible, minimize his sins as possible, and that will also help him to hold on, on to istighfar because every Muslim will need to have it to do istighfar and also maintain consistency by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Minimize your revision, make it a daily affair, uh, revise more than you memorize, revise more than you take new assignments, and then minimize your assignment. Don't undermine the assignment you take. Even if it's one line, even if it is uh, uh, three lines, what have you. Now to summarize, I will say, this is a helpful ecosystem to memorize the Quran. Whatever we have just shared, the steps and the components are uh, together is a helpful ecosystem to memorize the Quran. However, it does not contain the technical steps for memorizing the Quran. I am not. I did not share with you, nor did the advice share with you how to sit, what to do, and how to organize yourself in memorizing it when it comes to the assignment. It, it is not for developing other skills of the of the sciences of the of the Quran. This is specifically for how to for for developing the. Uh, uh, the determination to memorize the Quran, although you can make use of this to also uh, embark on other skills and what not. But this is specifically for memorizing the Quran, even though it did not share the step by step of how to memorize the Quran. Now, if you want to lo know or to learn the step by step of how to memorize the Quran, you can check this article of mine, your practical guide to master Surah Al-Baqarah by memorization, as well as how to memorize the Quran in 10 years, regardless of age and profession, both of which you can find on gsalam.net. Just follow the, the URL, the link displayed on the screen, and you'll be good to go. I hope and pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala enables us to become true companions of the Quran and accept it from us and may the Quran intercede for us on the day of resurrection. With that, we have come to the end of this session brought to you by tvq.academy, your borderless school of the Quran. Until the next, I leave you in Allah's protection. See you and see you in Jannah. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Iqara wa rabbuka al -akram. الذي علم بالقلم علم الإنسان ما لم يعلم